Good morning, I'm Ken Say and welcome to Dragon Track. I'm heading out from the cabin. It's 7.20. I have half a mile to get back to the Appalachian Trail and they expected to rain at around three o'clock and I need to hike 10 miles, which means I will be in the rain again unless I can speed up like I did yesterday and speed up a little more than I did yesterday. So there may not be as much footage today as other days. This is the blue blaze out of the cabin. I should probably look at the log books, maybe even write in them. I haven't looked at a log book since uh, Springer Mountain. This is the first time I see a proper chain link fence on trail. And I'm assuming there's a lot of travel down there. I mean, you can hear the cars go by. But then, not sure. Oh, okay, so there, there is a fence on both sides of the trail. We have a fence there, that's there, but it goes on down this way. Here's the bridge. The fence bends in, but not all around the bridge. And it's ten past eight, and I could hear a lot of traffic as I approached and now of course there's not a single car driving here <laughs> that's timing for you well, and this sort of curves around now we're back on grass oh, and there's another bridge over there Appalachian Trail Beckett am I supposed to go straight ahead or does the trail turn there and if it turns which side of the fence does it turn on I, the only white thing i see is that and i don't know if that is a blaze coming down this way i i knew the appalachian trail was he heading this way we we have the lake to our right we have this ahead of us. There are no blazes anywhere. And so I get out my uh, trusty far out app and I find that I'm supposed to turn left before I cross that bridge. And, and there is a blaze. But there's so much vegetation in the way, so there's no way to see it when you're coming from uh, that direction and uh, you need the app to find it or you will be lost from water you may hear waterfalls in the background and there are a number of them over here across this I have some small ones there there more of them here. Let's keep chasing more waterfalls. Yeah, more waterfalls. Ooh, a squirrel. It's running. Okay, now I think it's gone. Right back to the waterfall. Ooh. Okay, the trail is going in there. There are a lot of rocks between here and there, so I assume I can take any path I want. And I will, but not on camera. As I was finishing up my break, I saw two hikers, male and a female, catching up with me. But instead of passing me by, the guy started doing push-ups. Uh, and I asked him if that wasn't a lot of extra credit for hiking the Appalachian Trail, and he agreed. 
but he had done them oh, every hour the entire trail he started in at Springer Mountain on 13 March he's been in the Marine Corps for 20 years and it's difficult to take the Marine Corps out of him uh, what an awesome guy uh, and as he said that he gets enough exercise for his legs by hiking but he needs some upper body exercise too so that's why he does his push-ups well Beckett Mountain 2180 feet October Mountain Shelter 5.9 miles that's where I'm going it was 8.8 .8, so I'm I've almost done three miles and I've done that a oh, plus the 0.5 blue blaze so 3.4 in two hours and 15 minutes well 20 minutes maybe which means I'm way ahead of schedule and I hope I will get to the shelter before it rains it might rain at was it 12 and it will rain at three or that's the last uh, uh, weather report I have huge rock with my trekking poles next to them for scale I've been on trail for 3.8 miles it took me three hours that does not less than three hours and that also includes a 0.5 blue blaze that doesn't count so I've done 4.3 miles in less than three hours which means I have five miles till shelter and if I hike a mile per hour I'll be there at three and that's when it's supposed to start raining though it could start raining earlier than that I've seen a number of these little ones on trail today after a bit of the uh, Roadwalk on a gravel road. We are now at the county road and it's going to take me home to the place I belong. Well, we're not in West Virginia, but October Mountain Shelter is only 1.8 miles away. And two hours would be 2.30, which would be 30 minutes before the rain shows up I still hope I will be there in plenty of time before the rain I have fe felt a few drops already and uh, my 80 song lyrics are done they're done we're at the shelter and the shelter is right there so the blue blaze isn't that long According to one mile per hour, I should be here at 4.30. It is now 1.30. This is awesome. It hasn't started rain. I have felt a little bit of rain. But it hasn't started raining yet. Oh. And it's one of the normal type shelters in Massachusetts you have two bunks and there's a, a, a loft up there and they assume that we can shelter about 10 people winter use there have been significant abuse of this shelter in recent winters please read and follow the regulations below no tree cutting Use that and down would only do not cook in the shelter. Use a picnic table for all st stoves. Use establish fire ring. Do not build fires under shelter overhang. Consumption of alcohol is prohibited on DCR lands. Okay, since I'm here so early, I can record a bit about the campsite. I mean the, the shelter. Uh, there's a privy over there. 
So, so to the left diagonal from the shelter's front, and there's a blue blaze here that I'm assuming will lead me to water, but I have water and I haven't checked this area. Ooh, we have the bear box there as well. So this is where we need to put our food and other smelly things, keep things safe. Hi, this is Editing Can Say. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike. So keep on checking.